Hey, this is Diesel. Just wanted to say hope you enjoy the show. But first, I gotta warn you. We don't know any of you, the listener, or your families personally. So if we, or I, say anything to offend your race, creed, color, religion, or any other shit I forgot, I'm just gonna say sorry. That you can't take a joke. Oh yeah, I forgot the gays. I don't hate you guys either. So not if, but when we, or I, say something you don't like, just put on your leather pants and move on. Enjoy the show. Oh yeah, one more thing. We are by no means professionals or have ever claimed to be. Trust me, you'll learn that as the show goes on. We're just four guys with four mics and time to kill, so enjoy the show. Yeah. I got a real rock band. Nobody cares. I got a million plus fans. Nobody cares. Yo, I can rock the mic. Nobody cares. I got a song you might like. Yeah, Dirty don't care. Cares. People ask my opinion <laughs> and they don't even know me. It's your boy Tiny, aka Little Homie. Yo, with JJ Diesel and I'm in the spot. Play your song. I tell you if it's hot or not. Oh, you better ask me, Little Joe. Cause your song runs a pretty little vote. Yo, Joe. And I'ma speak the truth if you're real or nice And Jay coming through with that real advice Yeah Cause nobody cares I forgot my words Nobody cares I'm on a record deal Nobody cares Yo Nobody cares Oh la 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 We can start over I don't care Nobody cares Little Joe's the best Rapper Alright everybody, welcome to another exciting show of the Nobody Cares Show. This is our very second podcast. So for those of you who don't know who we are or what we do yet, let me give you a quick explanation of what we're going to do today. What we like to do is we like to have artists send us their music. We uh, especially like it when underground unsigned artists send us their music. We listen to it and then we pretty much give them our advice and our opinions. If they're good, we give them good advice. If they're garbage, we give them good advice and then tell them how garbage they are. That's just pretty much how it goes. And then we like to uh, vote afterwards. Our voting scale goes like this. The lowest is, I wouldn't listen to that again on purpose. The second would be, if it was on the radio, I probably wouldn't change the station. Above that, we have, it's lime wireable, which means uh, I'd probably download it illegally. Yeah. The next one after that, of course, would be to download off of iTunes and buy the single. And, of course, the top rating we have is to buy the album. But enough about what our show is. Let's talk about the men behind the scene. We got my main man, Tiny. Yeah. Yeah. We got little Joe. Joe Mama. <laughs> <laughs> we got Diesel in the house. Hey, what's going on? And I got Wet Jekylls. And today we have our first ever guest host. And I'm yeah. proud to say I'd like to introduce to the world Dirty Bob. What it do? Uh, <laughs> what it do indeed. This, this is the same Dirty Bob that had the experience with... The cat dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A legendary gato. Th- that's on the bootleg albums. I don't think the podcast people know about that one yet. That's oh, yeah. the bootleg no, no, shows. No, that, that was, was our first episode. Was first oh, episode. Was, that, was that the first hey, episode? feel free to know our shows. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why the cat that I said would be a great lawn ornament. Sorry. Uh, no feel offense, free Bob. To it's all good. Review our shows. Yeah. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about that cat. Fuck his ass. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> I will not. As uh, we bid uh, adieu to... Uh, Bob's cat. Let's go ahead and turn the time over to Tiny to see who we got to listen to today. All right. Okay. Our first artist. Oh, wait, wait. Let me ask a question. Okay. What do a film composer, DJ, and director of music and arts have in common? What? Three brothers from other mothers and fathers got together from the OC, Chi Town, and DC to create the miscellaneous collection of musical works, aka Oleo. Ole, Oleo. Which defined means I can't get a date. <laughs> Olio. Olio, that's the name of our first Olio, group. I'm just playing with you, man. Inspired Olio, okay. by everything from Black Sabbath to Barry White, these Ooh, guys stir up an eclectic on. blend of music from hip hop to funk, soul to rock, and a dash of pop to serve it up nice and hot. Oh, this should be pop. fucking interesting. Wow, I'm actually excited for this. I, I, you know, after that big intro, I'm expecting something fabulous. No, no, I'm not, because here's the thing. If, if you say every genre, then you can pretty much play whatever you want, and you're going <laughs> to hit it. That's not really you, like, because they never said they play it all at once. Right, They're like, we right. do this. We do like 19 genres, so <laughs> whatever we play, it fits it. Now grade us, now, motherfucker. Uh, I, I seem to remember when uh, you sent out emails to people, or when e- people responded, you sent an email, you said, Keep it between like 
two or three genres or something, you know? And no, I no, he didn't. Oh no, that was a uh, upcoming events. Upcoming. Oh okay. no, it oh. was no more than five shows. Right. He said right. Um, what it was was when it was when you were sending your bio, no more than one paragraph. But he right. said make sure that you give us the genre genres. Ah, so yes. they 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 filled. No, they, filled they didn't do anything well. wrong. They filled it out pretty well. They didn't do anything wrong, but being super talented and making Man, all the music in the world. Skills. All okay. right, Olio. Okay, this song we're listening to is called. Box spring. Box spring? Box spring. Like a bed? It's a fucking jam. <laughs> oh, boy. By the group Oleo. Bob likes it already. Yeah. yeah. With every chapter, I am intrigued. Your suspense is thrilling me. Before we continue, I'm going to try to get Diesel to put back on his shirt and quit licking his nipples. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you guys like this song and and you guys want to find out more about about the band, you can go check them out their website, oleomusic.com, or their MySpace, myspace.com slash oleo, and that's spelled O-L-I-O. Oleo, Leo. Jungle right, love. Right, Jungle Did, Love. Didn't little Joe do that? <laughs> and, and... If you guys are in the Dude. Southern California, uh, L.A. area, yes. you can check them out March 26th at the Key Club in Hollywood and oh, March yeah. 27th at Beach Fire Bar and Grill in Ladera Ranch. I said we go. Nice. I don't know where that's at, but uh, all right. Let's have at it, guys. All right. Uh, Jekyll, <laughs> let's start off. All right. All right. All right. First of all, I want to say that was a very creative song. Fuck um, yeah. I thought the lyrics were hilarious. Like, we were sitting here busting out. We were trying to contain ourselves. That's going to be every dorky white guy's anthem in the world. Like, I could just picture, like, Napoleon Dynamite approaching some chick and trying to, like, pimp her out to this song. Like, that was dope. The bass line, very cool. I like moving bass lines like that. I thought it had a lot of rhythm, a lot of soul to it. The instrumentation was good. Your your vocals are, are decent. I, I, I like your vocals. Um, I wouldn't say they're fabulous, but I mean they're good enough for what you're trying to do. You were kind of, you guys were kind of like cross between like a, a Weezer and um, what's that other band from Canada? That uh, bare naked ladies. Bare naked ladies. Thank you very I can much. Only, I can only think of Owen Hart when you said <laughs> Canada. <laughs> sorry, that's only you played in a lot of bands. <laughs> you just Owen said Ca- I said when you said Canada. I'm sorry. Oh, Canada. Okay. He's dead. A little WWF flashback there. <laughs> right. Oh, I miss him. <laughs> Alrighty, um, no, but um, I, I like uh, I like what you guys are doing. Um, I, I say keep it up. You guys definitely have a unique sound, and I think uh, you have something that will appeal to a lot of people. All right, Dirty Bob, let's do it. Well, where can I start from? The beginning. Um, let's see here. To me, that song sounded like it belongs in Kentucky, where you're fucking your sister. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Oh, oh my God. Fucking have with you the song, I just wanted to run to this fucking wall. I swear to God. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so you weren't feeling the whole white toast, uh, oh, chocolate, break the bed post? No? Nope. No? Nah. Bob got nah, dirty. I ain't uh, going with that vanilla chocolate pudding type shit. Oh, uh, <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh. Okay, then. No, no swirl um, for him. I'll pass on this song. All right. All right. All right. Sorry. Little, homie, little homie. All right. Well, I definitely like the vibe of the song. I thought the lyrics were great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were hilarious, dude. They were awesome. You being a dark fellow. Yes. <laughs> you get a <laughs> light lady. And, uh, you know, I thought, the you know, like the, the melody line of the song was just kind of, you know, just whatever, whatever. Yeah, it's basic. It, it, it could have been improved on. And I think, honestly, I think if, if you did improve on it, it would improve the total value of the song. Like, yep. we'll go way up. I, I really like the groove of the song. Like that running, that bass line was 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 real nice, and uh, and, yeah, and the lyrics were cracking me up. Here we go. <laughs> uh, as for myself, uh, when I first started hearing it, it sounded like the the song from Fifty First Dates, but then I was totally wrong. <laughs> yes, you were. Like, wow. Yeah, you were. Like the first, I was like, oh wait, and then I was like, wait, Whoa. are you talking about the Three Eleven song? The, oh yeah, the yeah, yeah. cover song. Yeah, yeah, you know, Love song. The, 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 yeah. Very, the very beginning, I was like, wait a minute, then I asked. Uh, my buddy here, Diesel, and he's like, no, no, no. <laughs> and I'm like, that, that is correct. <laughs> but, this uh, is box spring, baby. <laughs> the, but then uh, the drums, guitar, they're they're pretty cool. I, I like the beat, L- like the rhythm of the song. The vocals uh, fit with the song. I uh, just didn't really like the message. It's just like whatever for me. So uh, how about you, Diesel? Um, wow. The first thing is, I'm super glad that they provided my boy Jack with an anthem. <laughs> I'm, I'm very happy. Thank you very much. Dude, the, from the very get go, I just thought like I, I if I would have closed my eyes, would have felt like I was in a bar. It just sounded like really? one of those bands that you see like at a small bar live, because that's pretty much what it something like very similar to that. Well, it, they seem like they could sounded, be very personable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's like you could kick it with them. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. It just it just uh, sounded pretty good. You know what I mean? I really didn't mind it. Not a, not too bad on the sensuality of the voice. Sensuality, wow. you know, Ooh. not too bad on that. Um, I white like guy. Big words. I, I I well, I learned them like three days ago. <laughs> not a big deal. Got to use them. Got to use them. So before I forget them, so check it out. Um, I don't mind any song when you talk. I mean, unless I'm wrong, when you talk about a white guy and a black chick fucking, I'm all for that. That's what it was about, right? Or fat girls, much, skinny girls. It's much, yeah, it's pretty much getting trimmed sex with any girl. She's getting trimmed, right? Breaking box springs. Um, and then I was thinking, it was called box spring because you know the box spring has no preference who's on it. Yeah, as long there as someone's go. on it. Yeah, this guy was like an equal equal opportunity box spring breaker. Yep. Yeah, go. yeah, yeah. And I yeah, just thought, so I don't know if he's breaking the box spring because he fucks so much or he only fucks fat chicks. <laughs> I don't know why, but either way, handle. So that's what I got. There you All go, right. ladies. Olio is available. Right. Yeah, he is. I Jesus, we'll start you with the vote. Uh, you know what? I would I would lie my just for. I thought it was funny and the music wasn't bad at all. Um, I would limewire it. All right. Uh, Juggles? Actually, I would definitely limewire this song also. I just think it'd be hilarious to be on a date and just like slip it on and see how she responds to it. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty Bob. I would break my radio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you so you're saying you would never listen to the song again on purpose? Uh, my radio would be destroyed afterwards. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Little tiny. Uh, I'm going to say limewire bowl. Limewire bowl? Yes. I'm going with uh, if it's on the radio, I'll listen to it. That's my vote. All right, oh, oh, so. too bad. We're, we're All right, Jack, trying to get some trim. Well, uh, according to my uh, calculations here, it looks like this song is definitely lime wireable. Congratulations! Nice. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's not bad at all. Music. all right. And uh, just to show you how thankful we are, we're gonna turn it over to my man JJ Diesel for a little bit of JJ Diesel's jibber jabber. All right. Thank you for that. Thanks for the pornograph music. Always <laughs> makes me feel good. Uh, you the, know actually, it. you know, well, uh, you know, I'm going to let our listeners in, make them a little bit jealous. We had ourselves a barbecue today. Yep. Um, yes, we did. You know, and we had a fabulous chef. Diesel, yeah, chef, one, yeah. Of the, one of the and, best. Uh, the thing is, though, I almost started making the food yesterday because I, you know, <laughs> well, here's the thing: when you're when you don't work a lot of days when in a row, bad. or okay, when you don't work at all, <laughs> you lose track of days. <laughs> so I was like, like I woke up and I was like barbecue day. <laughs> so then I turned on my cable and I was like, oh, 
well, tomorrow's barbecue day. <laughs> so I'm glad that you that you know we all had a nice little barbecue. I want to get that it, out the way. It was way. good. It was good. It was. Yes. It was very good. Um, I'm gonna. Okay, you. if if you guys don't like gross things, cover your ears. But I know Dirty Bob. This might be a um, conversation between me and Dirty Bob. <laughs> but um, put your earmuffs on. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, put your earmuffs on. I'm just just in other quick, words, put the children to bed. Yeah, please. just a quick question. Have you ever wiped your ass and thought you shit on your hand? Yeah. Oh my god, hey, dude. Hey, check this out. It's, this is the first time it's ever happened to me. Like three days ago, I blew a super huge fart on my hand, and I thought I shit on my hand. <laughs> like I was like, "Damn it!" Nope. So, just I'm not even kidding. I really thought I pooped on my hand, <laughs> but I did it. So. Oh, it's gross. That's not gross. That's natural. I've done that too. What shit on your hand? Or uh, thought you no, shit? Like you know, I left like a a little air. Like an air dent in my hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, he said an air dent. Hey, <laughs> and, 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 and speaking of, of sounds, I made, uh, well, this is a new one for me. I made the first mouth queef I've ever done. What the Ooh. heck? Hey, okay. Ooh, sexy. Real quick, basically a queef, you don't know, it's just when ape scares, and, like ape, um, air escapes and it makes a weird sound like a prrr, kind of. It could be when an ape escapes too, you know. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Apes do escape. So, so Stop check. talking about the black people. Yeah. <laughs> Shut Whoa. up. Whoa. Dirty Bob. Dirty Bob. So, so anyway, back to, uh, <laughs> back to the mouth queef. <laughs> what? Hey. You guys are racist for laughing. I'm going to say that. <laughs> I'm going to say that. Right. That's why you're still so, chuckling. I'm not chuckling. Uh, no way. Okay. Carry no on, way. Carry on. Thank you. I was eating some uh, sushi. I lowered my mouth with that, and I I don't know what happened, but, like, some food came out, and I went, <sighs> I swear to God, and I was all, what, <laughs> what, the heck? what the hell just happened? <laughs> so I uh, – Apparently, you can queef with your mouth, so for you, those that don't know that, it's possible. And this is for Dirty Bob. I don't know if you guys uh, like uh, you know Andrew Dice Clay as much as we do. He's funny, but um, he At was times. he was on The Apprentice. Oh, oh. yeah, yeah. No, no. But I'm not. I was gonna like I was sitting there. It was I like a two it. hour thing. Cool. So I was just like, oh, when I saw it was on there, I was like, dude, I'm you gonna st- I'm gonna start watching this. Well, I'll tell you if you quit interrupting me. Are you gonna watch it? Are you like it? I have it recorded. Let me finish, man. <laughs> Fuck. We can watch it together. We can watch it together. <laughs> what do you want to go on a date with me? <laughs> will you? <laughs> He's like, wait, 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 will you? <laughs> yes. But anyway, <laughs> sicko. Hey, I was watching. I was like, dude, I, I might. In too. Hey, <laughs> you guys can go big bed springs after that. It's called a menage. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. So I was like, I saw it, and I was like, oh, I'm definitely gonna start watching because I never watched that show. Like, that's not really a show I watch. Right. But I was like, dude, I'm going to start watching it. Um, so I don't want to blow up for you guys, but he got kicked out the first. Um, <laughs> hey, okay. seriously. Hey, but what was funny is like he was like being such a dighead. <laughs> it was just funny. Like they were baking cookies. And they're like, hey, don't you want to put on a hat? He's all, no. And they're like, why not? He's all, because my boy's going to watch me. And, and from where I'm from, you don't like looking like a jerk off. And I was <laughs> like, dude, this guy is so like, like, I love him. But I was like, I'd hate to be on a uh, team with him. He's such a I, I heard he told jerk off. off uh, didn't he, jerk off. Didn't he tell off the Trump? Didn't he say something like, you can't even do that. And you the Trump. Um, well, you know, I didn't see all of it. Like what I saw with him interacting with him, he was just like, because obviously he's like, oh, he kind of actually kissed Dice's ass. Really? Yeah. And from what I like, I said, like I don't watch those shows, but from what I know, he's like usually an asshole, right? Right. No, no. He was like, well, he has like this guy's talented, this and that. I'm like, you're afraid he's gonna whip your ass because he was <laughs> like, but I'm sorry, you're fired. And then Dice was like, all right, I can understand that. And then Dice was like, oh, you know what? Like it's cool, like whatever. Like he wasn't mad about it. But that was because he just got some shine to get on TV. That's all he yeah, wanted. Yeah, I don't even think he planned on winning. No, you know what real. I mean. He was just no. like, I'm gonna get. I don't know. Work like I would have watched again. He's a winner right. in life. Yeah, he, he's it's a winner so in life. <laughs> so ridiculous. Like doc. Yeah. So uh, I just want to say uh, that was my first and last episode of I don't even know what's, what's it called again. The The uh, Apprentice. Apprentice. The Apprentice. So all you Dice fans, don't worry. He's off the show, so don't watch it. Uh, fuck that show anyway. Yeah, now that Dice isn't on there. (laughs) Well, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This has been another exciting episode of JJ's Jibber Jabber. All right, uh, now we're going to go ahead and turn some time back over to Tiny to see what other artists we have to listen to today. All right, here we go. The next guy we got, his name is Author, like a book author. 
Author Nice, spelled N Y S E. Author Nice, all one word. Author Nice. Okay. Cool. Author Nice. So he only writes nice things, I guess. Yeah. Author guess. Nice's focus is to communicate to today's hip hop generation oh. a fierce and unforgiving display of lyrical skill yeah. and wit wow. to match an upgraded <coughs> boom bap sound unlike the norm. Okay. Wait, okay, wait, wait. wait. This sorry. guy this better freaking bring it or I'm going to rip him a new one. Author Nice wow, challenges hip hop listeners message. to wow, think like outside it. the box <laughs> okay. and embrace authenticity. Yeah. All right. His he conclusion. uses a lot of big words. I struggled through that whole paragraph. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. That, that, he, he said a lot. He said a lot. He better bring it. Tiny's actually sweating from reading that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> you jerk off. <laughs> you jerk off. <laughs> you jerk off. Do you, you need a 10 minute break? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I want to get it during the song. Okay, and uh, the name of this song is called Big Bang Theory. Oh, Bang Bang Theory. Oh, that's good because TV Big Bang Theory was kind of taken by uh, Busta Rhymes already. Okay, well, it's one or the other. Bang bang shoot him up is good. High voltage. Got this so crazy. Expect no apologies if I step on your toes. The agony of defeat finds in six weak spots exposed. I'm used to rocky roads and ups and downs all around. From the wrong side of the tracks with the right stuff for any town. Out of bounds on familiar grounds and more or less timing. Performing under pressure always makes the best diamonds. To die for like blood money, remorse is optional. Overcoming obstacles on a mission, of course, called impossible. Topical solution with proper execution. Reputation for retribution with no reservations. When men's patience runs thin and idle hands begin to run amok, they do the devil's deeds on self the struck, the death of reason that season that protects this palace. Ballad of a menace from start to finish is valid. A verifiable threat, prompt suspect, the flight risk for righteous. It's lights out like a good night. Yes, yeah. start thinking big, the whole plane for your buck. I got it backwards, doing a bang up job, so hang it up. Too big for your bridges with big shoes to fill. It's bigger than you and me, but only I can fit the bill. Better start thinking big, the whole plane for your buck. Y'all got it backwards, doing a bang up job, so hang it up. Too big for your bridges with big shoes to fill. It's bigger than you and me. Me, but only I can fit the bill. Cry never with the last laugh at the math raft. Backdraft from the craft that left the black path. Half staff or was double trouble. Split personality multiplied by another couple. Dealing with reality, fatality. No law greater than gravity. Get a grip, grab hold of all your faculties. Like it or not, hot on your trail. No option to fail. Post bail, bonded by my word, I will prevail. Hell or high water, take a chance like a thief of the century. Needless, fell safe with the keyless entry. Lost prevention, ministry of defense with intensity. Infamous in my own 30 mile zone vicinity Clinically insane, morose, undiagnosed Type A, alpha male that's calling it too close To folks, only small victories, I'm making history Better start thinking big, better start thinking big Better start thinking big, the more bang for your buck Y'all got it backwards, doing a bang up job, so hang it up Too big for your britches with big shoes to fill It's bigger than you and me, but only I can fit the bill Better start thinking big, the more bang for your buck Y'all got it backwards, doing a bang up job, so hang it up Too big for your britches with big all right, that was feel. author nice, and uh, right. did that sound like Big Bang Theory or Bang Bang Theory? It sound like Big Bang Theory. No? Uh, either way, it's something. something okay, the if unit. if you want to check out more of this dude, you can check out his website at authornice.com, and again, that's spelled A U T H O R N Y S E. Authornice.com, or check out his MySpace. Uh, myspace.com slash author nice or you can email him at author nice at author nice dot com all right cool. thank you thank you Chuck Norris thank you <laughs> <laughs> one of these days you're gonna have to explain that to somebody it <laughs> makes me laugh every time Chuckles. you say that let's go to the boat <laughs> all right Arthur I, I, I'm, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you okay you can spit like you're decent um <laughs> your metaphors well, you barely had like three or four metaphors throughout the song, so they didn't impress me that much because they're all metaphors that I had heard before. But I like what you're talking about. I like that you're speaking on something. Um, your flow is decent. Your flow is nice. Uh, I am going to say this. Uh, there was one point in the song, I believe it was the second verse, the way you started it off, how you were going back and forth. The cadence you had right there at the beginning of that verse was hot. You should have tried to follow that cadence a little more because it seemed that a lot of times in different parts of the verses you were trying to fit more words into a sentence than what really needed to be there and so it was affecting how you were writing the beat especially in the hook your hook 
I like what you're trying to say in the hook, but you were trying to put too many words in at a time. It almost forced you to be completely off beat when you were trying to fit in your parts there on the hook. Was he off beat or no? Because like I no, said, you could tell he, better than I can. He, there was like slight, like a hair second, and and the, like maybe the second line of the hook was uh -huh. a little off. But it's because he's trying to fit too many words in at one time. Uh -huh. The hook, make it a little simpler. Allow your listener to be able to sing along with you, to say what you're saying. That way they can grasp your message a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? I understand you're a backpacker MC, you're underground. I listen to a lot of underground music. I'm down with underground. But at the same time, in order to attract more people to underground and the messages that underground has, we need to make our hooks a little bit more catchier. I'm not saying change up the lyrics, but just make it a little bit easier to follow so that people can enjoy it also and be there with you so that they can enjoy what you're trying to say and try to follow what you're trying to say. All right. All, All right. right. Diesel, let's <clears throat> do it. Um, yeah, mine's going to be a lot shorter than that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, no, no, no. That, there's nothing wrong with that. You, like, you know, I'm, I'm trying to listen and trying to hear what you hear, and obviously I don't have your ears. It's okay. But I it's have okay. a, you know, I have someone that would buy albums ears, so I guess there that works. Go. Um, I mean, really, I didn't mind the song. I like the girls, you know, the background, the little uh, singing and... Um, I like nice. kind of get you riled up with all them shoot all the little shooting background. Bah, bah, bah. I like that. That was pretty cool. Um, not too much to say about the song. I thought he sounded pretty good. I was, I couldn't figure out who he sounded like. I'm like he sounds like someone. Exhibit. Is that that's who? That's what it, I thought too. Okay, because I was like, who does he sound? Not that he was like trying to be like him, but I mean, I was like, who does he remind me? Of? I can't do the I can't do the noise. Yeah, please don't. Yeah, that <laughs> sound like a dead bird. Yeah. <laughs> That right. scared the crap out of me. I was like, "What was that? It's something like that." You hear? That pterodactyls were extinct and shit. What does a giraffe sound like? <laughs> when it gets shot in its ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? The, I mean, honestly, I'm just gonna say, you know, I really didn't mind it too much. It was something that I can, you know, picture myself. Not too, you know, listen to. My bad. Cool. As for me, uh, I like the beat. The beat was pretty cool throughout the whole song. The hook was uh, was decent. It was pretty good. The rap flow, uh, like uh, Jekyll was saying, it went uh, really well. Uh, I enjoyed it all the way through. Good job there. Um, as for myself, I could hear myself listening to it, like coming over Diesel's house. He likes listening to like underground stuff and just hanging out, listening to that song, and just like kicking back. Being so, cool. fun. Being cool. Being yeah. cool. All right, time to him. Right after they watch The Apprentice <laughs> together. together. <laughs> no, that's over. <laughs> drop. Fun. Uh, let's see. I, I thought the beat was weird, but that's how a lot of underground <laughs> beats are. True uh, that. True just, that. You know, this is it's not my style, but that's that's how underground cats do it, and so I can't hate on that. And uh, I thought, you know, you used a lot of you know very big vocabulary words. Good job. You're right on. <laughs> Good job. Good job there. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where I'm staying. Dirty balls. Well, we have uh, Jekylls and Tiny here dropping some fucking knowledge on our asses already. <laughs> um, but you know what? I like the song. You know, if I was Doug. I'd be pulling drive-bys with this shit. Yeah. You actually are a thug. There, there you go. Oh, yeah. At least he didn't destroy his radio on this one. Yeah. You know, uh, his radio's still intact. I'd be catching 10 to 15 with this song. <laughs> there you go. All right, Dirty Bob, your vote. I'd lime wire this shit. All right. Because wow. if I'm going to jail, I need all the money I can get. Right. <laughs> For my attorney. Homie. There you go. I would lime wire this also. Right on. Touche. <laughs> Oh boy! I'm going to that damn touche again. I will love it. You don't know damn nothing myself. about that touche, but he said that touche oh all the gosh. time. If, Only you can if, say that touche. If you're wondering what we're it. laughing at, please listen to our first episode. Yes. Yeah. I um, don't know damn so. nothing about that um, touche, I'm gonna, boy. I'm gonna say something that that we should say. I'm gonna say this ditto, <laughs> which means. I am in agreement with you. Oh, but he got me. That's what ditto means. Is that what that means? <laughs> yes. Is that what I mean? <laughs> you were confused by hey. his oh, touche was, business. We, we are teachers here too. We teach. You teach. You guys teach. We Good do job. teach. Good job. I feel like I teach. Uh, Jekylls. Actually, uh, if it was on the radio, I probably wouldn't change the station. Sorry, guys. Uh, not oh, quite up there no for me for a lime wiring. It's all right. It's all right. You don't have to apologize to us. So apologize to us. I didn't make the song. So uh, according to my calculations, it uh, looks like you're lime wire ball, dude. A lot of people would lime wire you and put you into the library, so that's a good look. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not, not bad. bad. And speaking of not bad, it's time for my main man. Little, 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 little two. Two, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. All right. Thank you for that, Tiny. Touche. You. <sighs> you got oh, it. Touche. That's a boucher touche. <laughs> All right. Uh, now it's time for my food critic of the week. 
Right. Aren't you the food critic of the week? Yeah, that's what I just say. Food critic of the week. It's time for the food. Criticize that food. I say. Go. This week we're going to the Pasadena Sandwich Company off the oh. of 210 freeway, 259 Sierra Madre. Sponsor. And that's that's and, uh, Pasadena, and California. California. Pasadena, California. Sponsor. I have the uh, Del Mar sandwich with Ooh. some potato salad. Ooh. They are Ooh. a sandwich place. Uh, they're only open from really? 9 to 3. What the fuck? No, no, that, uh, well, they only serve sandwiches. I guess that's what a sandwich lunch. company yeah, it's, it's, stands it's, it's, for. It's, it's so lunch. You don't eat sandwiches for dinner. Why not? It's Subway I eat closes steak at sandwiches. 10, 30, 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's actually a good point, well, Tiny. But it works for them because, because their sandwiches are great. Wow. Uh, the look of the place when I first walked in, it uh, was clean. Very good atmosphere. <laughs> That's always important. Yes, yeah. it, actually, <laughs> actually, it is. It is because some place you go to. That is no, important. no, seriously. You, you go, you see some cockroaches, and it's like, oh. Wait, you actually yes. see cockroaches <laughs> when you walk in the wow. place? Hey, Where the you fuck you are you eating wow. at? <laughs> Albertos. Oh. <laughs> so, Ooh, so hey, 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 hey. this is untrue. Albertos. I do not feel the same way as little Joe in that aspect. No, no, no. Albertos is a wonderful place. All right. We talk about the dirtier it is, the better it is. That's what I'm talking about. Better. All right. So, anyways, the, the the area was clean. The menu was on the 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 uh, wall. Actually, it's a special menu they had written in it. So it looked uh, had a get, had a little character with it. So it looked like kind of like those speedies, if you know. Yes, Speedy, Shout out to Speedies wherever Speedy, you are. Yeah. Speedy said, yeah. Yeah. "Sponsor." Yeah. 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 The service was uh, very excellent. The players were Dordy? very polite. Are they? They gave me time to order. I think so. Let's go. Let's do it. We're having two shows at <laughs> the same time right now. <laughs> <laughs> hold, hold on, hold on. They, they didn't they didn't rush you. They didn't rush it. They give you time to actually order. Yeah, you know, just, just set us down. This, you know, let's eat. Okay. Give us time to come back. Give us our iced tea. Say how you doing. Do you have to have iced tea? I had iced tea. That was, that was my pick. You always do. You I love did. iced tea, don't I, you? I, I love it. I like it. The iced tea was actually good there. It, it was. It wasn't like uh, too much, too much uh, brewed up or too light. It was excellent. If you fuck up iced tea, then <laughs> yeah, <laughs> something's wrong with that. Then uh, also too. The quality of the food was excellent. We had uh, the sandwiches about literally 10 inches high. Thank you for showing I'll our like listeners. Yeah. I'm going to hey. show you guys. Thank hey, you for you showing guys. our for listeners. Me, for, <laughs> hey, no, no, <laughs> you, you know what? The, for me, that's important, though. The fact that he showed that height with his hands let me know that yeah. it's big. No. I like that. But the, the, the thickness of the... I thought the, he was uh, showing what? the size of my cock. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and again, <laughs> he likes that. <laughs> you show him with your hands how big it is. No, no. That's a sandwich I don't want to try. No, no, no. Why not? It's all no, beef. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> More like chori. There's right, dirty bombs in the house. Uh, More like bomb. chorizo. All right. Then uh, the Damar had the ham, roast beef, and Swiss cheese on it with a little hint of uh, Russian mustard that has like kind of like a. Did they smuggle it in from out of the country? No, it's kind of like Thousand Island, but oh. it has a little hint of uh, pepper. It tastes really good. So overall, go there. It's a 10. I'm going back there next week. Just to enjoy Ooh. it. And he's buying for everybody. Nope. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you. you dude. Thank hey, you. Bro. Tell them that we shouted them out on our show and that we deserve free sandwiches. But, sir. But also, mm-hmm. too, I'm giving poker advice for all you fans. My oh. oh, wait, wait. I got to listen to this My one. first advice is poker etiquette. Poker etiquette. Wash your hands. <laughs> Wash your hands. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, dear Bob. Don't poo-poo up the cards. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yes. Do this not is pick when, your nose and touch the cards. This is when... Someone's in a hand and they fold. It is bad etiquette when you fold your hand and start talking about other people what to do. You have to let everybody go around, do their bet or bet. When a flop comes, say like ace, ace, king. Uh, if you're not in a hand, don't make noises or just jump up and down like, oh, I had that, or just show another person or just talk about the hand. Does like, anybody oh. do that? Do you know? There's a lot of people who do there's that. A, yeah, I've gone to the poker room anywhere. A lot do of a lot of people. people a lot of people. Lot of Does people. it annoy the shit out of you? Because you guys know more more about that than well, I do. If, if I'm in a hand, it bugs me. Do you have you ever done it? I can picture you doing I've that, asked, Jack. I swear to God, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie that. to you. I have accidentally done that in the past. I don't think it's accidental. I don't believe it. <laughs> I don't believe I've it. done that in the past, but I have focused on changing that aspect of my Good. game and not doing that anymore. Focus. Just focus. It's not. It's not a, against the rules, but just bad etiquette. Uh, and just also etiquette. Just, just etiquette. etiquette. Also, too, when you fold your hand with the hands over with. Do not get your card and say, oh, I would have won. If you would have won, you would say the hand and bet the money. Doesn't that make you look dumb if you say, oh, I would have won? Yeah. To, I would be like, what a jackass. I would have. Try, I would try to hide that if I knew I would have won. 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, exactly. you know, mo- most most of what he's talking about though takes place only at home games with friends. It doesn't matter. So, if, like, if when I you're with your hand. friends, like, it's just it's just sometimes they do that because it's it's funny. Like, oh man, look, if I would have stayed in, and it was oh, you know. No, he's talking about just poker etiquette in oh, general. Oh, 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 right, right. Oh, oh, oh. No, it's he's right. It should not be done, but it does get it's done a lot. But I'm, I'm just saying from the poker that I see, because you know he's a little poker stallion, and I've you know watched him play, mm-hmm. and it, where he plays at, or like the the tournaments he ha- whatever they play in. I couldn't see myself going like, oh man. Well, that that's that's different than just a cash game at home with friends. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, I don't really play cash games at home with friends. Yeah, but it's it's all it's all the same casino home games. Right. Keep your keep in mind poker etiquette. And if you have any questions about poker or places you want me to go eat at, send a comment to the website. And thank you, Tiny. Thank oh, you. Oh, and by the way, that thank website you. is nobodycareshow.com, and the email is nobodycareshow at gmail dot com. There yeah. we go. I want to add something tiny. Oh, well, well go ahead, Bob. Uh, speedy Sub, I heard it's behind Dwarty High School, one really? of the shopping centers. Oh, I just want to drop a little tidbit right there. Wait, wait, wait. You, you, you're kidding, right? All this no, time, I, I thought those two, cur- that old Korean couple retired. You thought they were retarded? <sighs> retarded. I heard. Oh, that, that's, I hear, that's I hear it. they are still chopping up cats. I think Over we're going to have to go for nice. We are going to have to yes. go to Speedy's and pay them a visit. Because oh, I love me so I want to see. I want to see. Ask, yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. I want to see if you Tiny know, can walk in. No, I, I want to see if Tiny can walk in and they can recognize him and be like, Oh, oh, two turkey sub. Yeah. Oh, are you tiny? Five cats per sandwich for you. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> hungry. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Dirty Bob, you got anything more you want to uh, add to the show? We're going to give you a minute right, real quick. No, I didn't come prepared today. All right, well, know, we're just glad to have you here anyway. Mic, acapella, you know. There we go. In that case, uh, Tiny, so. let's go ahead and go to our third song for the no, night. No, I'm going to add some. No. <laughs> 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 um, beer is good. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it no, is. I'm not drinking right now. That, but, uh, but that's only because he finished the can. No, I'm drinking water. What are you talking about, Jekylls? Miller water? Guy, crystal geyser water. Or whatever Mi- Miller it's water? not your water. <laughs> That's not your water. Is, is, that, is water. that genuine draft water right there? Yes, it's piss water, actually. <laughs> it's delicious. Piss water comes Good. out of That's all I wanted to say. All right. Well, thank you for that little tidbit of information. So uh, let's no go ahead problem. and turn the time over to Tiny now. Okay. You can give us the last artist. Our, our, our final artist for today oh. is named Chapa. 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 That name's real original. Chapa. C-H-A-P-A. <laughs> Chapa. chapa. Oh, like a chapa. <laughs> I don't care how chapa. you spell it. It's like, still chapa, like and a, that name's been like used a like a million like times. Chapa, okay, like and a, he does orchestra, orchestra folk. West Coast chapa. Oh, God, nice. oh, he might be. He might be Mexicano. I think so. Chapa, a project that has been in the making for several years, a sound that has been in the making for even longer. The project was formed wow. by Rush Chapa, aka Lou that. Lewis, and Deacon in late 2003, and existed mainly a two-piece throughout the first three years with the occasional player joining in. During this time, the group released their first album, A Buyer's Ride, in early 2006. The boys grew by two with Emil Abrimian. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Abrimian. 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 Maybe. Okay, no one noticed. A.K.A. Dagger and Adam Zygmunt. Zygmunt. Uh, shortly thereafter, Mr. Party Paul Pate. Uh, now that's a name, Party joined, Paul. I like that. Party Paul Pate joined <laughs> hey, the party party with Paul much Pate. love Pate. and respect. The band completed work on their first collaboration, a four song EP, Believing, that was released in late 2007. The EP was a prelude to recently full, uh, recently released full length album, A Look to the West. And we are going to be listening to sorry. the title track of that song this is Chapa Look to the West
the rising sun. A blank expression on my face that was not my thought. I see my true identity. Watching the children dance in the sea. Moments keep thinking with the snap. I feel proud for the soul we are we looking for. Was alone. So I pass it twice into my eyes. We keep right with the hope that one day all this shit will seem right. I was tempted, but I didn't run. That was Chapa. Look to the West. And if you want to find out more information about this group, go to chapamusic.com or to their MySpace, myspace.com slash chapamusic, or you can email them at byridechapa at yahoo.com. All right. All right. Yahoo. Well, can I can I borrow Dirty Bob's um, CD? Because I know he has one. Uh, <laughs> I do. <laughs> Dirty Bob, we're going to start it off with you. Uh, Tiny, what's the name of this album again? A Look to the West. Oh, I, I ain't be looking that way then. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm staying on the East. I believe I will not be listening to this fucking song. Oh, my. What the fuck were they doing? <laughs> I could have swore, swore I heard like a fucking recorder in there. Like, you know that shit you fucking... Didn't we fucking learn that shit back in like in the fourth or fifth grade or some shit, dude? And, and seriously, it sounded like my fucking nephew started a band. They're like, they're like fucking five and six. Uh, what the fuck was that? Oh, wow. I'm oh. sorry. It's okay. Uh, after he rips up, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what? That's, that that makes it better. I'm sorry. That's from the heart. That's from the heart. I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Juggles. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to put my nephews down right there. They, they're, actually, <laughs> they're actually better than that. Oh, man. <laughs> wow. Did that come in clearly? I'm sorry. Chapa, Chapa, Chapa. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Okay, right, okay, Chapa. Honestly, honestly I, I wish you guys would have saved a little bit of the mushroom you guys ate for myself so I could have understood what you guys were writing at the time you did this song. Serious? <laughs> this is a good drug song. <laughs> for real. These Fuck guys were the definitely on drink. mushrooms. Yeah. Okay, look. No, no, you call them shrooms. That's what the I cool people call it. I think my favorite part of the song was your... Um, Ending? Your... <laughs> <laughs> Mine was. That was, that was, that that was incredible. Hey, hey, did they have one of, You know those things you put in your mouth and you blow it and go... I don't know what that was. That was like some kind of uh, retarded beatboxing. That was awesome. Look, look, I'm going to be honest with you guys. That's all right. I do not know why <laughs> you are sending your song to us to critique it. Obviously, you sound like you guys are all great musicians. You've studied music. You understand music theory. And it sounds like you're trying to do music that's not going to be secular, that's never going to be sold, that's probably never going to be on the radio. You're doing music for the sake of doing music. I totally respect that. But this show really isn't for you. We're here to let you know whether or not you can be hot enough to get on the radio, get money, and make money as a musician. Wait, did money. you just fire them? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, did you just fire them? I, 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 I thought they were fired. I thought no, 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 look. Care show. Look, look. <laughs> no, here, here's the thing. I'm, honestly, you guys are great musicians. You can tell. And like I said, you have studied music theory, and I can tell that in what you're doing. It sounds like what you were singing to was someone's poem. You know, you're not doing music for the sake of the listener to really go out and buy something they're going to bob their head to and listen to every day. This is for a certain group of people, Readers. very minute, very small group of people <laughs> that are going to buy it and really appreciate what you're doing. You guys are good musicians, Cutting. but honestly, that, that's it. <laughs> you know what? You should have added to your song. <laughs> <laughs> I think that would have went cool. That's just what I think. All right, Diesel, go for it. Um, first of all, when people say that we have a new sound, we have something that's never been heard before, there's a reason for that. <laughs> 
Okay, you can really make, come up with any sound. Anybody that can play instruments can come up with any sound no, they dude, want. I've heard songs like this by the Beatles back in the days when they were on drugs. Like this. Like this, this. This creepiness. Yes. This uh, I make those sounds drop in a shit. With <laughs> <laughs> rhythm. Hey, you know what? Though? At, at, at the beginning, hey, at the beginning, for like the very, very beginning, I, pic I pictured something like... Um, I kind of pictured myself like walking down a path pathway with cowboy boots on. <laughs> oh. I swear to God. You and, were looking towards the and, west. Um, yeah, you know, at, at first I was. I'm like, what's over there with my cowboy boots on? And then all of a sudden I'm like, hey, releasing air is music now. <laughs> I didn't know that because if I would have known when I was uh, filling up my flat tire, I didn't know I was, you know, putting it on a song. You could have made some money. Yeah, I could have made some money. And then when I heard the flute or the recorder – as mm -hmm. it's called, I guess. Um, I then, I guess, changed costumes, and I pictured myself like, you know, I wouldn't say in a ballerina outfit, but like little leotards on with like a ribbon on a <laughs> stick and going through, like <laughs> twirling it around. Oh, and so I'm like... Just yeah. <laughs> oh. oh. Name drop. Name drop. Name drop. Oh, there was a name drop guy in the background there. I wasn't <laughs> a fool. <laughs> so, oh, dude, you didn't have to shout about like that, and no one knows him by just... Whoa, you didn't have to enunciate so clearly. What are you talking name about? I'm sorry, what was his name again? Name Nothing. drop. Move on. So anyway, yeah, like, I don't know what I'm getting looked at. Anyway, so as you guys don't know, it's someone I went to high school with. It's, uh, you know, one of their best friends. Ooh. So anyway, that's pretty much where I'm at. Um, I just he was thought best dressed. Was guys it? or girls. I, the well, ball. I think it was bold. <laughs> he made that up. So anyway, that's pretty much where I'm at. I thought it was a weirdo song, and um, I actually got a little bit of enjoyment out of it because I just thought it was so funny. I I haven't laughed that hard. <laughs> I don't know listening to a song I think in a while, but you know, what? just real quick, one positive thing. Jekyll is right though. They kiss on, you know we're not we're not challenging their musicianship by any means. It's just it's that that song isn't for most human ears. Right. <laughs> it's not my cup of tea. Hey, hey before I saw him, that flute thing, that was a real flute? Yeah, yeah it was a real wooden flute. <laughs> Those are called recorders. <laughs> wait, wait, are you, are you saying that that was a real flute? Is That's that... what I'm asking. Oh, think. you're asking? It was a real flute. Someone was actually playing the flute. Someone was actually playing the violin. All the instrumentation sounded live. Oh. I don't think anything was synth. <laughs> okay, skin recorded. flute. Okay, I get Skin flute? <laughs> 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 okay, no, I, I like the beginning, but then after that, it was like, whoa. The guitar. I love it. The, the guitar. <laughs> like, whoa. Whoa. This there is was, awesome. There was, awesome. There was a guitar in there. I'll, I'll buy it. But in the first part. The first part. I didn't hear that shit. The first part of people. <laughs> we were laughing. Yeah, you guys were laughing. But like, uh, Zeke was saying, uh, you know, the musician part was pretty good. Uh, Musicianship. Musicianship was pretty good. Awesome. Wow. awesome. I got it right this week. All that. Um, as for the vocalists, you couldn't really hear them. I think that was my major problem. Maybe that's a good thing for you guys. But uh, how about you, Tiny? Uh, you know, I, I actually dug it. I dug it a lot. That kind of stuff <laughs> is not <laughs> normal. <laughs> it's not normal at all. But, you know, every once in a while, I'll listen to Native American music. And uh, you can hear some of that in, in this kind of stuff. Right. And I'll listen to other ethnic music from around the world. Oh, wait, I that's just get me. it. I get it. We're all being mean, so we got to have a nice guy. <laughs> no. no, it's cool. I get no, it. No, no, no. Very good. Uncle I'm Tiny. I, I, like, like I said, I understand what Tiny's saying. These guys are great. Yeah. Like what they do. Now you're trying to be good. nice. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Not great, not but great, good. my point was that no one's going to really listen to them on the radio or buy them. Cool. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We'll put the no, I get, I get what you're saying. <laughs> but, but they're great musicians. <laughs> yeah. They're great musicians. Yeah, exactly. Don't mad at me. We can't do drive-bys to this kind of music. Right. So it's... It just you yeah, know, you it, can, you can it doesn't high. work in in some elements. You can do like drive-bys like in San, like Tiny. San Francisco, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> boom with like while, <laughs> while we're riding a banana seat bike, boom, 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 boom. Oh, 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 I got you. With, I with got you. On the yeah. handlebars <laughs> while we're riding a banana seat bike with like a basket in the front with a. Bunch you mean of with, with without a seat? The without a seat bike. <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah, you guys anyways, are sick. Good anyways, times, good times. So, so musically, I thought this stuff was was great. Even the little, you know, that beatbox thing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I thought that was sight, honestly, and and mainly because Ooh. I ain't never heard nothing like that before. There's a reason for that. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> but that's why I was like, oh, these guys are these guys aren't you know they aren't conforming. They're not making music to please anybody, right? That's except true. Except themselves, exactly. That you know what I can, I can get with that. Yeah, and so I dig that. I am I am down with that. So I say keep it up. Um, doesn't necessarily mean I'm buy it right now. Right. No, no, no. Like you said, have to buy. They're, they're no. making music for the sake of yeah. making good music. Yeah. And honestly, honestly, um, oh wait, uh, are, are we doing a? Yes, we're gonna start with you. Okay. Buddy. Um, so I would rate it if you would let me sample some of that stuff. I would buy the whole album. <laughs> I would. Wow. I would purchase it. You're such a liar. Hey, you guys, he so has his fingers right crossed right now. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can't see him, but he's a no, dirty no, little no, jerk. Honestly, he's hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. In Tiny's defense, I've seen his music library, and I believe him. That's not his fingers crossed. That's just his dick fucking going across his hand. <laughs> oh, I thought it was crossing his arms. Wow. Yeah. Well, all right, Dirty Bomb, your vote. You know, honestly, when Tiny said that he dug it, I, I thought he meant, like, digging a hole and dropping that shit in there. And <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? Ladies and gentlemen, dirty bomb. You know, honestly, uh, you know, this is probably worse than the first song that we heard. They so should, fucking, hey, they're going to go on the just, Hall you know, of Fame. Just cut my fucking hands off so I can't turn the radio on, you know, when this shit comes on. Fuck. Wow. Wow. Oh, so I guess I'm not going to listen to this. I'm not even going to turn the radio I on jiggle, or just bolt, do it. I juggles bolt or die. <laughs> Okay, P. Diddy. Now, uh, like I said before, you guys are great musicians. You're doing great music for the sake of doing music. But I got to be the consumer, and I got to vote as a consumer. And as the common person listening to this music, I probably wouldn't change the station if it came on the radio just because I'd be interested to see where the heck it was oh, going. Whatever, dude. I don't even believe you at all. Stick with your guns. Bang, bang. Yeah, stick with your guns. You're, all, you're laughing at it. No. <laughs> Why am I no. thinking of real? I was laughing yeah, that's at, cool. I was laughing uh, at yeah. the other guys when I said I was real. Real. Here's the, the thing. Ben Post song I laughed the whole time. Keep it real. So anyway, I think um, here's the thing. Everybody's bringing up great points, but here's the thing. We're, our our job isn't to vote on your intentions. Hey, that's awesome. You're making music for yourself. That is awesome, <laughs> but that's not what I'm voting on. Right? We're not voting on that. I'm voting on why I listen to it. Fuck no. Okay? Um, I, and I probably actually, actually would have to since Tiny's obviously going to buy the fucking album. I'm probably going to have to hear it. <laughs> but, I w but I wouldn't listen to it again on purpose, so that's just where I'm at. Right. Wow. That's for myself. I would not listen to it on purpose again. Even if Tiny brings it, I'll tell him to shut that off. <laughs> Shut that what off? Oh, oh shut right. it off. Thank I, th you. I thought I heard a box ring in that song, too. <laughs> 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 you might have. Shout out to White Toast. Hey, you know, what right. they, you know what they should have? They should have like a doorbell. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong in the background. I think I would have bought it then. I might have bought it, too. Hey, hey, Jekyll, it. What, what would the tally be? Well, the thanks to... Uh, <laughs> so Tiny's vote over there, he pretty much saved it, and he brought him up to the level of, if it was on the radio, I would not change the station. Wait, what did we vote again? It was the ones that went listed again yeah, was me, oh, Dirty Bob, right? and... And then I said radio, and then his vote raised your guys' votes pretty much. Suckers! So, so yeah. when he did, he brought it up Oh, because he level. bought it. He didn't lime wire it. He right, bought he it. He bought it. He, bought, he gave he it the best it. rating. Yes, Thanks a lot, Queer. Yeah, so, uh, so you guys if you guys that. were on the radio, we wouldn't change the station. And good that's point. not to say that what you guys is is doing isn't good. It's just saying that most people aren't going to be able to appreciate what you do, and that's art. Sorry, you buddy. Didn't get the worst, I, you didn't I get the worst rating, it. but you didn't get the worst rating, so that's cool. That's, that's true. true. That works. That's true. I'm real real, real artists really. appreciate it. I could appreciate it. I couldn't listen to it every day. I couldn't listen to it every day. I couldn't listen to no. it any day. I'm going to be but, honest. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, I appreciate real music. Like if I was in a park. And uh, people well, were performing live doing that stuff. I mean, like, oh, no, no, yeah, that, ex groovy. exactly. You guys bring up a lot, like a lot of good points. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you knew them, you wouldn't be like, and right. they, you knew they dug right. it. There's so many things you can say positive about it if you want right. to. But, but the I common mean, person listening to it's gonna be like, what the hell was that? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, how would you exactly. do, Bob? If you, you, saw, you, him, if you saw him in a park, what would you do, Dirty Bob? Um, I'd beat them up. <laughs> <laughs> I'd beat them there, up. There he goes. Bob would show up and turn up his radio with Soldier Boy, tell him. No, actually, Dun. I'd be dropping some speed oh, metal or yeah, some speed you know, metal, stuff yeah. like that. some tool. Okay, a little tool. bit of tool. Yeah. There you go. All right. Well, uh, thank you very much for listening to our show today. Uh, if you liked any of the groups that you heard today, or just want to check out our show uh, some more on our web page, you can go to nobodycareshow.com and feel free to drop us a line at www. 
Nobody cares show at gmail.com. Forget the W's. I always say the W's. Dang <laughs> it's it. all right. It's all right. Yeah, w Bush. I, li- I like the dubs. <laughs> Sorry. No, but seriously, hit us Wiener. up at uh, nobody cares show at gmail.com. And please critique us so uh, we can talk about it here on the show. And also, artists, if you have any music that you want to send us that you want critiqued on the show, you can also send it to that same email address. What was Feel it? free to drop in anytime. The e- the email again is nobody cares show at gmail. And you can also find us on iTunes. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's right. We're on so iTunes now. Just folks. go to the iTunes <laughs> store and search Nobody Cares Show and don't click the one with the dog. Put us on your iPod. Click the one that says Nobody Cares Show yeah. and uh, subscribe so that you can get the show every week. Hey, you know what? Th- those guys that made that made the awful um song, they're going to have their own little podcast and they're going to rate our show. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to be guys, those guys are fucking retarded. Did you call that hey, talking? Hey, Tony. Like, Dirty Bob's the stupidest man alive. Uh, are the listeners they able to wrong. comment about the show too? <laughs> Yeah, and if you and you can comment on our blog spot, which if you just go to our website, it, it takes you directly to our blog spot, which again is nobodycareshow dot com. Uh, you can leave comments, questions, or whatever. Or if you want to email us directly with those, please do nobodycareshow at gmail dot com. Yeah, Thank yeah. You. that's right. Thank and you, like like we said, this Thank will you. be up on iTunes every single week. We'll have a new episode for you. Maybe two. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> Please, please don't do that. You're, you're reminding me of the Goonies right now. <laughs> Thanks for having me, guys. There you go. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, man. I thought it was pretty good. Pretty good. Right. Of course, it wasn't a bad show. I think, Bob, I think Bob was a Yo, good yo, element. Me and Joe, the show. so what do you know? I like the flow. Dirty Bob, thanks a lot for coming. Wow. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Uh, much love. Shout out to Old yeah. Square Productions. Shout out to uh, Old Square Square Productions in the, his house. Hey, shout out to Pet the Dog. Many, 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 man. Uh, I want to say, uh, many, many, many. Many, many, many. What? Cat side dancer right there. Many, oh, yeah, I thought you said production animal. What's that? No. Yeah, yeah. Rest in peace, all the dead all the dead animals. I want y'all to rest in hey, peace. Hey, uh, pour out a little bit you're looking for for the cat there, buddy. What? Pour out a little bit you're looking for the cat there, buddy. I would, but I don't want to waste good shit. I don't know what happened right there. You know what happens. We should get muted. That's okay. We don't know what happens half the time on this show. <laughs> all right. Okay. We are all gone. Uh, sorry, guys. If I cussed.